Hi everybody, today's focus, I am testing Scotch-Brite toilet scrubbers to see how well they remove bacteria from my toilet bowl. A few weeks ago, one of my viewers, musical lover AJ, asked me if I would be interested in testing the Scotch brand toilet bowl cleaning wand. They said, I don't know if you're able to do it, but it would be amazing if you could test the Scotch brand toilet bowl cleaning wand. I prefer it because I can get under the rim on both sides easier than the Clorox one. Plus, it seems to have more cleaning solution than the Clorox one. So musical lover AJ, this one is for you. So I googled Scotch brand to look for this toilet wand system that they have and I found two. So I'm going to be testing both of them today. The first one is the Scotch Bright Power Scour Toilet Cleaning System. And the second one is the Scotch Bright Disposable Toilet Scrubber with Built-in Cleaner. Scrubs under the rim. So in order to test how well these products remove bacteria from my toilet bowl, what I'm going to do is take a petri dish just like this guy here and label it A, B, and C. I'm going to take some sterile swabs and I'm going to swab my toilet bowl. I'm going to place that sample in the section labeled B for before. Then I'm going to clean using the Scott Bright directions, swab the area again, and place that sample in the section labeled A for after. So we'll be able to see how much bacteria is in my toilet bowl before cleaning with the Scotch Bright product and after cleaning with it. So let's read how we're supposed to use each of these products. Let's start with the Power Scour. Let's see, it says Power Scour Toilet Cleaning System Unparalleled Clean Effortless Shine. Scrubs under the rim, it has disposable scrubbing pads. This particular one comes with the wand to stand in five scrubbing pads. So let's read how we're supposed to use the Power Scour. Step one is attach, push the scrubbing pad onto the end of the handle. Step two, scrub. Swirl the scrubber end in the toilet bowl, starting under the water, and work your way up. Okay? Three, toss. Eject the scrubber into the trash. Do not flush the scrubber pad. Okay, so this does not have any sit time. Usually when I test a toilet bowl cleaner, it'll say something like, Square three quarters of a cup underneath the rim, let it sit for five minutes, scrub, flush. But it doesn't say that, so there's no wait time for this guy. So I'm gonna scrub, flush, and then sample after so we can rinse the soap off the toilet bowl. Now, I do wanna make a point here to say we have tested our water on multiple occasions. We do not have bacteria in our water. Okay, I just want to get that out here before and I'll probably mention it again in the results section. Because a lot of people like to comment on my videos saying, well, you probably just have a lot of bacteria in your water. We do not have bacteria in our water. We do get it tested. We do have a well. I have tested it myself. If we had bacteria in our water, we would have way bigger problems to deal with than just my YouTube channel. Let's read the directions for the toilet scrubber. So the first thing it says is load. Open top of scrubber head bag, then place it into the caddy, okay? Step two, snap. Insert tip of handle into opening of the top scrubber head until you hear it snap into place. Three, scrub. Dip scrubber head into the water. Clean above water line first. Scrub bowl, including under the rim. And the last step is toss. Slide button forward to eject used scrubber head into the trash can. And this kit comes with the toilet scrubber handle um, and five disposable scrubber refills as well as a storage caddy. Okay, now it's interesting that on this one it says start in the water and work your way up, but this one says to dip it in the water, start on the top and work your way down. So very interesting, I'll do exactly what it says. So let's see how well the power scour and the toilet scrubber removes bacteria from my toilet bowl.
Now for some results. Before I actually get to the results, I do want to let you know, I do have four toilets in my home. So after I recorded myself doing the test with just you know two of the toilets, I decided about a week later to do it again with two of the other toilets so I could just make sure the results match. Let's start with the Power Scour. So that was the one that has like this circular scrubby. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, there's not much of a change in bacteria. Let's look at the second toilet using the Power Scour. Again, in the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, this one, maybe we can see a little bit of a visible decrease in bacteria, but not much at all. So the Power Scour does not seem to remove bacteria from my toilet bowl. Next, let's look at the results for the toilet scrubber, right? The scrubber, that was the scour, the scrubber. Now, now the scrubber had a pad that looked like this. It was kind of more angled. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria. There's still some bacteria there, but most certainly was a decrease. I also do want to point out in the control section, you can see that little um, imperfection there. Uh, that is actually just a bubble in the Petri dish. In the second toilet, using the toilet scrubber, in the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria. There's still bacteria present, but there is a visible decrease. So overall, the Scotch Power Scour did not do a good job of removing bacteria, and the Scotch Power Scrubber did seem to remove some bacteria. But remember, none of them claim to be able to remove bacteria. There's nowhere on these boxes at all anywhere that says it can remove bacteria. As a matter of fact, on the Power Scour, they have an asterisk where it says unparalleled clean that says compared to leading disposable toilet scrubber in removing rust. Now my toilets didn't have any rust to be tested. So perhaps these two products would work much better if you had a rusty toilet. And on the toilet scrubber, it says removes rust in hard water stains. So both of these products make no claims to be able to remove bacteria. Perhaps if I had hard water stains or rusting from my toilet, we'd be able to see what they claim to be able to take care of. But on this channel, I do test for bacteria in the Power Scour. So the one with the circular scrubby did not do good at all at removing bacteria, but the Power Scrubber, which has a little bit of an angle on it, did seem to remove more bacteria. So overall, these products don't remove a tremendous amount of bacteria. And that's okay because they don't make any claims to be able to remove bacteria. I did find it was easier to use the Power scrubber, so this angled one, uh, to get up and underneath the rim of the toilet, whereas the power scour, which was a circular sponge, uh, a little more difficult to really get into the tight places. I will use up the pads that came with these products, although I'm not sure that I will be purchasing them again. I guess if I end up by having some rust problems or hard water stains, I would give it a try again. But for removing bacteria in toilets, I have some other products that I prefer. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comment section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list. Or you can mail me something, my mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email first so that we can have a conversation about the product that you wanna send me. It might be something that I've already tested that I have in queue, so just send me that email first. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, have yourselves a great day.